Hello YouTube and once again the Toshiba Satellite Pro 480 CDT is starring in this video and this time it's running Windows 95 which is probably going to be the operating system I'm going to keep on this after dabbling around with Windows 3.11 a little bit more I figured out that uh, it's quite a handful to get working properly and uh, you know, unless you've got all your games and stuff you want to play on the CD, and by that I mean your original installation CDs, it's not really going to work because it's all kind of copy protection and read only bull crap that. Yeah. I don't know what's that different in Windows 95, but for some reason all my games do work fine in Windows 95. And under 3.11, everything was just bullshit. So this is Windows 95C. And it's still loading a lot of stuff. Let me get to the properties here. You can see Windows 95C, Internet Explorer 4.0, not upgrading that because there is no network connection from this laptop. I could use uh, some kind of Wi Fi card I got laying around, but it doesn't support Windows 95, so, so that would be pointless. As you can see here on the right, I've got the uh, Microsoft Office 95 bar because this thing has got Microsoft Office 95 or Microsoft Office 7.0, whatever you want to call it. We've got Microsoft Access, Binder, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, which is open right here. That was pretty quickly. Pretty much looks like uh, the current uh, generation of WordPad, rather. But of course, with some plugins for, for instance, Excel. We could also just open the document, of course, from the office bar on the right. And this will give us the opportunity, for instance, to open a blank document, like we just did. Or a blank Excel workbook or a spreadsheet. Still looks quite similar to the modern day Excel. You've got all your tabs on the bottom. And all of your various options. It's fun to work with sometimes. You should know what to fool around with. I've also got daemon tools so I can mount some ISOs I can use from my USB flash drive. Because I've actually installed a USB supplement and flash drive drivers. So I can use USB mass storage on this thing. Which is a must, in my opinion because there's no real reason to use other kinds of media, media to actually get your files on this thing so let's see what else is there to show got a couple of games on here as well uh, let's just pick one for instance, uh, Death Rally let's see if that will run the sound is all working, all the MIDI tracks and whatnot Hmm. Now well, this game needs a DVD or a CD, I must say. We can also try some good old Wolfenstein 3D. Let me turn it down in volume. As you can see, it's running really well. So, ouch! You get the idea. I'll showcase one more game, and then uh, I'll show some of the great MIDI capabilities of the system. Uh, let's see which is a good game to show off. Um, Blood, sure. Why not? Yep. 
Yeah, that's badass. It's a little bit hard to see, I apologize. This is quite a tough game for this thing to run. It works fine, nevertheless. I'm just gonna keep bashing this dude until he dies. There we go. He's bleeding very well. I picked some uh, some of his life essence up. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Not one of those Twilight Sparkly gay type of vampire, but yeah. So like I said, I wanted to showcase some of the MIDI capabilities of this thing. I've said in previous videos that this thing uses a Yamaha OPL3 sound chip, which is basically the same as the Sound Blaster uses. And it uh, sounds spot on, I guess. So, let's see, we want MIDI tracks. Of course, we've got the famous Canyon track that everyone seems to love so much. So let's play that. <laughs> the system froze. What do you know? You know, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this thing in. I'm not going to edit this out. This has honestly not happened to me before. I don't know why, but <laughs> lately, whenever I'm recording something, the computer always decides to fuck up. And now I've won scan disk. We don't. Fuck off. Windows 95, Microsoft Internet Exploder. Is that what it is? It's a piece of shit. Do you, do you, do you. Okay. Windows has come back to life. Come on, let me exit those, the start menu, please. There we go. Accessories, multimedia. Click. Canyon. Attempt number two. Let's put it a little bit ahead. In my opinion, that sounds pretty darn excellent. It really shows off the, uh, the capabilities of the Yamaha OPL3 chip and uh, its FM synthesis. It really, really sounds very, very well. So, not much else to show you here. Just uh, me, device manager, having some trouble with the card bus, it seems, but I don't really care because I don't use that at all. Yeah, I don't really have much uh, else to show here. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, just, I've uh, tried to run SimCity 3000 World Edition on this thing. Or SimCity 3000 Unlimited as it is known in the rest of the world. But it is, uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's the same game. So. 
that's just called World Edition here in Europe. So, that pretty much sums it up. Let's uh, shut it down now. And that will conclude my video as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.